Overnight, the world experiences a shutdown of all water and electricity. The temperature has plummeted by 100 degrees. I am the only one able to sit at home, playing games by the fireplace. Neighbors all step out of their houses to complain. In this extreme cold, people are sure to freeze to death. Furthermore, no one had the foresight to prepare instant noodles. So, even if they don't freeze, they'll starve. But I've hoarded an entire Walmart's worth of supplies in my house. The girl I've had a crush on for 18 years brazenly asks me for food. I unashamedly send her a picture of steak and wine. She instantly recognizes it as top-grade Wagyu and a $100,000 bottle of wine. Immediately, she says she also wants steak and wine. Upon hearing this, I laugh. If she wants to eat, she can go to the supermarket herself. Turns out, a supernova explosion affected the planet, causing a global ice age. And, using my position as the warehouse manager of a supermarket, I have hoarded enough supplies to last two years. Who knew the girl would break into my house with a group of neighbors and steal all my food? In order to ration the food, they decide to start eating me. The girl even gleefully admits that she tricked me into opening the door. She wanted to take one of my thighs. In extreme despair, I would rather die. But when I open my eyes again, I've been reborn three months before the global freeze. In my new life, I swear never to be a bootlicker again, and I want to repay the pain of my previous life a thousandfold. But the immediate priority is to hoard enough supplies before the end of the world and build a sturdy safe house. Just as I'm considering where to start, a bright light flashes before my eyes. In the next second, I'm in a strange space, looking at this otherworldly place. A bold idea pops into my head. If I could move an entire Walmart here, I would never have to worry about food and drink for 10 lifetimes. Just then, my stomach rumbles. Thinking about all the good things I won't be able to eat after the apocalypse, I head to the best restaurant in the city. A meal costs me 50000 In the apocalypse, even a bowl of instant noodles can cost a life. It won't be easy to eat your fill then. This scene is witnessed by the girl I've been infatuated with for 18 years. A girlfriend standing beside her looks surprised. Fan Yuching, you're so lucky. The bootlicker chasing you turns out to be a rich second generation in disguise. Fang Yuching naturally wouldn't miss this opportunity and comes up to chat. Shang Yi, what a coincidence. Hearing this, I laugh coldly inside. In my last life, I was tricked by her pretending to be pure and innocent. In the end, I became soup in her bowl. Although at this moment I really want to kill this bitch, it would also land me in jail. I have to wait until the end of the world. Immediately, I pull out my bank card and ask them if they want to go shopping at the supermarket, thinking to use these two as my free labor. As expected, they happily agree. Sure, Sure, we're neighbors. We can help you carry a bit. Who knew I would buy two full shopping carts and throw them to the two? Free labor shouldn't go to waste. This leaves the girlfriend looking displeased. You're a big man. Aren't you going to do any of the work? Upon hearing this, Fang Yuching hastily chuckles. I've done you a big favor today. You owe us a big meal. Hearing this, I laugh coldly inside. Of course, I'll have to treat you too well. When the extreme cold comes, not one of you will be able to run away. Just then, Auntie Lin from the neighborhood committee walks up with her grandson. Little Zhang, you can't eat all this by yourself. How about sharing some with Auntie Lin. After she says this, her two-year-old grandson starts taking things from my shopping cart. I grab it back right away. Sorry, I don't even have enough for myself. Upon seeing this, the child immediately started making a fuss. Big villain, give it back to me, or I will kill you, he shouted. In response, I coldly said, dare to say that again. Believe it or not, I'll slap you to death. This yell made the child cry immediately. However, Auntie Lin wouldn't back down. What are you doing? A grown man, haggling with a kid. I'll buy this box. I'll transfer you the money later. Stop acting like we're trying to take advantage of you. I immediately display my payment QR code, always saying later, either pay me now or go to the supermarket yourself. This move made Auntie Lin very angry. Once I got back home, Fan Yuching winked at me. Don't forget to treat us, okay? After I sent the two of them away, I stored all the purchased food in the alternate space. Next, I had to build an impenetrable steel fortress with heating devices and medical supplies. It would be great if I could get some firearms, but I'm not in a hurry. There are still 90 days until the Ice Age. During this time, I have to sell off my property as quickly as possible. With money, I can always get what I need. The next morning, I came to the alternate space to check the freshness of the food. Although I can't store live creatures, the food remains as fresh as when I bought it. I took out my phone and contacted the best local restaurant and booked 500 tables of meals. I said I wanted to host a banquet for three days and three nights, but the hotel manager said the cost for 500 tables of food and drink will not be less than a million, and a deposit of 200,000 is needed in advance. Without any hesitation, I transferred 200,000 over. Then, I found my property certificate and went to the bank to mortgage it. After the apocalypse, money will become useless waste paper, but mortgaging the property and adding my own savings is only enough to build my safe house. I need more funds to purchase weapons and supplies. As I was thinking about how to get more money, a man in a suit walked up to me and said, Bro, do you need money? I was delighted. Money is coming when I need it. The man in the suit quickly brought me to another man. The man didn't beat around the bush and asked how much I wanted to borrow, but the interest rate would be a bit high. 
cry. Upon hearing this, I rubbed my hands together. It doesn't matter if the interest is high. The main thing is to raise the money as soon as possible. So, I mortgaged the house that I had just mortgaged, and my Mercedes-Benz as well. After the transaction, both parties felt that they had made a good deal. I mortgaged a house worth $5 million and a car worth $300,000 for $4 million. In the end, I have to pay them $7 million back, but I also think they are really nice people, just giving away money for me to spend. Then, I came to the most famous War Dragon security company in my previous life. A second